Hello YouTube, hello world. I wanted to talk to you about something that some people forget in their survival pack. In your survival pack, I suggest, this is just my suggestion, I'm not a survival expert. If you can get something small, easy to carry, that can keep all your equipment sharp. This is where I picked up at Walmart for 10 bucks in clearance. And this stone keeps this thing razor sharp. You can have a backpack with a small survival pack in it. And you can carry a sharpening stone. This is a two-sided redstone had this for 10 15 years and it still looks like brand new still works so awesome piece of stone if you can carry this in your stone in your pack in a pocket or something you always have sharp equipment just on these stones this is a wet stone it can be used wet or dry a little you can see it just a little slight angle you want to and you can keep everything you carry sharp this is a little knife I found on the road I broke the tip reground the tip and this little knife is pretty sharp I carry it every day in my pocket I carry my old timer it's sharp it's a three blade old timer that my dad carried for a long time. The blades are kind of ground down and worn down a little bit. These are little survival tools you can have in your pocket. And then I carry this one. This is one that was given to me a long time ago. It's a two blade case. That's a good size survival little pocket knife to have um, it's old metal and it's still razor sharp carry these I carry these three every day in my pocket but I suggest if you can do it in your survival pack find you a dependable sharpening stone not one of these ones you pull through an actual stone because an actual stone will last you forever pretty much if you if you get a good one an actual stone also can be used on your axe can be used on machetes can be used on all pocket knives or knives here's a knife I carry as of September 1st of last year in Texas it became legal to carry any size knife you want the Bowie knife is Texas it's known as a Texas knife because Jim Bowie and down in Alabama. Well, it's legal to carry these now. So, this is one I carry. I got one that's in the car, which the car ain't here. And I got my other part of my survival pack in the car, too. Um, this old knife, I picked it up in a rummage sale. One old boy was selling it. For 15 bucks and it's just a cheap pack of pan knife so I can beat the snot out of it and I don't really give a crap um, it is a uh, it's a cheap old knife I can keep it sharp and I can beat it up and I believe me I've used it on weeds trees everything I've hacked with it I've cut with it I've whatever this Pakistan knife actually works and holds up. It's a little noisy and a little rattly, but it holds up. Yeah. If you could find just some cheap bows, which are out there, and cheap arrows to keep in your packs, I would suggest having them. 
Yeah, they sell breakdown bows where they break down and they fold down. It's fold up real well. If you can get some of those, get, get them. Those would be wonderful. But if you can't, fiberglass bows are out there. And they work for small game. And this one is 50, about 50 pounds. And it will work for a deer. You get, you have to, of course, you have to get close enough. It's not like some of these bows where you can be 200 yards out and, or 100 yards out or whatever ridiculous amount out. But just for a survival bow, I can use it for a walking stick. And I really don't care because it's not going to wear down the tip. I can also use it as a bow. I got this one. It's an old bear. It's a recurve. And it's about 40 pounds, 40, 45 pounds. And originally, if you can see, it was yellow. I wrapped it in the camo, and the camo starting to wear through. Um, this one is good for small game, whatever. I picked four of these bows up. I'd run myself for 10 bucks. And the string for it, I got it at a bow shop for 10 bucks, which is pretty dependable string. It's cheap string, it's not great, but it's dependable. And with these bows, it's not hard to put them in. You get them, bend them, and you slide them. Oh, it is. Boom, you're ready to go. There's your little survival bow. And as the same thing, I wrapped this one with camo. And the camo is starting to wear through. Now, survival, you got to know when and where. How to find your food. How to find your water. How to boil your water so you don't get sick. So, simple things you can do is find an old old metal flask that you can boil water in that. Put a little metal flask in your in your bag. I got one in my bag. Metal flasks work for boiling water. The depth, some, you can get the big flask, metal flask. You can get the small one. Or even an old metal canteen if you can find one. Like I said in my last video, eventually I'm going to do a hunt with this. I'm going to take my survival gear with me. I'm going to take a lot of the gear with me. And I'm going to try it out at this place where I, I got mine. And I'm actually going to do a survival scenario. Um... I'm going to take just a very, very basic, no firearm. Well, maybe one firearm just for protection. Maybe. If I decide to do it. But, really, I'm not going to depend on the firearm. Depend on my knife. Depend on my bow. And my axe. Or hatchet. Um, and we're going to see how good all this, my survival pack, that I put together is actually in the wild. And we're going to try it out. So that'll be an upcoming video. If you want to see me doing videos of survival or exploring, because um, there's many places up by Lake Meredith, which would be that direction, um, north of Amarillo, that are abandoned or places you can go exploring, you can go. Um, if you want to see these places, uh, I'm going to set up my Patreon or a uh, GoFundMe. I haven't, I'm looking in, I had Patreon up once, I had GoFundMe up once. If you want to see more of these, I'm going to need help doing these videos. Um, we're going to create, we're going to show you the Panhandle of Texas this way. And we're going to show you simple little tricks I picked up of survival. I'm not a survival expert. I'm 
not a military or anything else. This is things I've been researching and learning on my own. So, and as for the urban exploring, I've got a list of places for those. Magnet fishing, there's a few places for those. Um, if I can get a metal detector, I know a, few, a whole bunch of good, good places way up north to go do those. Um, there's all kinds of places here. And, yes, I'll be here and there, I'll be putting out a few political videos here and there, talking about my beliefs on all this. As for, to go back to the subject, the Second Amendment says right to bear arms as well. The court just came out and said this is part of the Second Amendment. So, which I believe it is actually because it, I don't believe it's the government's right to tell us what we can carry, what we can't. As long as you ain't hurting nobody, I say carry it. I mean, you want to open carry? Go for it. You ain't gonna bother me. I see you can open carry as long as you ain't pointing at nobody and being threatening and you ain't breaking the law. Hey, I might walk up and shake your hand and say, good, good job for carrying. I see you carrying a buoy knife. Cool, what kind of knife? That's my opinion on knives. Um, I don't see any reason why you can't carry a knife of any size. You, a sword, hell, man. But this new law, you can carry a sword. A lot of people don't understand the new law. And it's listed under HB 1932. And the new law actually says, I don't have it word for word, verbatim or whatever, that you can carry whatever knife or whatever, what, you have to go read it for yourself, but the length of knife is actually unconstitutional, according to the Texas Supreme Court. So, granted, like any other weapon, if you get stopped, you have to tell the police, yes, I got weapons, I got knives and weapons. You have to do that. Which is all good, because I say do it. And just keep, keep it honest, keep it up front. And if you respect police, police will respect you. So, anyways, I uh, almost lost my train of thought there, sorry. Um, but I was just wanting to make a quick video saying that showing some of couple of things in my survival pack that I keep in my survival pack and keep within grabbing grabbing distance. Um, I don't like to show off guns. I don't own guns right now, but when I do have guns, I really don't like to show them off. Because it's none, in my opinion, it's none of the government's business what guns I own. So the bows and stuff like this, I don't care. You can see all this stuff you all you want. But I just wanted to share this quick video. Have a good day and God bless.